Hello Gemini, welcome to Korean Star Tarot. This is your December 2021 tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading for the whole of the Gemini Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, then you can find the link to personal readings in the description box directly below this video. And just a quick reminder to you all, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video and absolutely subscribe to my channel. The more people that like, share and subscribe to my channel, the more my video gets circulated. Thank you. So I'm going to jump straight into your reading. I'm going to see what the energy is for the Gemini Collective. For December 2021. Let's see what the energy is. Whoops. Five of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see what the challenges are for you. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and Advice from Spirit, the Empress, Taurus energy, that's the major arcana card, Taurus and Libra en energy actually, okay, um, okay, let's start off with the Five of Pentacles, um, this tells me that you're feeling like You've been abandoned, left out in the cold. Um, some of you could be struggling with financial um, situations, you know, lack of money. Um, some of you may be struggling to find a job as well. Um, some of you could feel like there is no emotions or affection being expressed to you within a love situation. So I'm going to go on to your challenge, because that's your energy. The challenge is the Page of Swords, which is to do with communication. And it, it can be difficult, the communication between you at the moment. You may not be in communication with this person. You may have cut this person out of your life. They may have cut you out of their life. But I feel that the challenge is communication here. Let's clarify this card for you and find out what the challenge is, is all about in regards to communication. These two wanted to come out. So we've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra and the Page of Cups. Capricorn, Scorpio and Pisces. Yes. It could be communicating with a past person, um, an ex here that's perhaps returned. Communication could be very difficult between both of you. Um, I think that you can expect communication from this person, um, but I feel that in the past, your communication has been very difficult. It's been very difficult to talk to this person and very unpleasant talking to this person. But I feel they're going to come rushing in. They may want to return. This can also indicate someone new coming into you. Let's find out why you broke up. Oh, these cards wanted to come out. You so with the ten of cups, see, there was a situation within this relationship that was definitely making you unhappy. It could be the other person, it could be both of you, but someone was not happy at all in this relationship. They could have been. It could have been around the issue. Um, of depression someone could have been suffering from um, mental issues such as depression um, it 
could be that someone was in their emotions about someone from their past. Perhaps that was something that was coming between you both. But someone was definitely very unhappy in this situation. I'm going to leave that one over there. Yeah, someone definitely very unhappy in this situation. So, cups again is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the five, yeah, yeah, the cups energy. There's a lot of Pisces energy in your reading and a lot of air energy. A lot of air energy and water energy so far. Let's see. I've got the Ten of Swords here. So, you may be in that energy of feeling stabbed in the back by this person. Um, uh, I kind of feel that whatever was going on with this person, whatever issues they had, they may have taken it out on you. Definitely made you unhappy. Um, I think that with the Five of Pentacles here, I kind of feel very much that um, there was a lack of... Um, affection and care i feel that this person was very selfish maybe grew very distant wasn't very supportive could have been could have could have felt stabbed in the back by this person they could have done something as well you know like i said um kind of feel like if it isn't someone just suffering from depression it's someone feeling depressed because of a past situation um, but they've had with someone, um, they kind of feel here, it, it may be that they've been trying, they were, they returned to that past person. Maybe that's why you feel stabbed in the back. Yeah, so I think that you are trying to work things out. I think you're taking time out to analyse this, look into this, think about this. Think about what has happened, you know, trying to understand it all. I think resting and recuperating, trying to get your energy levels back because I feel this whole situation has been very draining for you. You may be considering moving on um getting a new start for yourself um and putting the past behind you here because you want to find that balance and that harmony and that happiness that's been really lacking in your life lately um putting this devil which is capricorn energy um could be dealing with capricorn and um, putting the past behind you um something that you may have considered to be uh, something that became very toxic definitely someone that may have had an some sort of obsession with their past someone from their past um someone that that either was suffering from depression or was depressed because of their past because of not being able to get over their past um they could have been addictions affecting this relationship as well they may have addictions they may be drinking a lot smoking a lot in order to forget but what it's done is made things worse it's it's kind of taken its toll on you in the process You're, you're moving on. I've got the chariot here, which is cancer energy. I think you've had enough. I think you want to put this behind you. I think you want to move on. You're ready to move on. Um, and change the direction of your life. Um, I think you are working on yourself, you know, trying to, as, as this also, the Eight of Pentacles appears right under the world. Um, it's clarifying that the world means that yeah you're working on yourself you're trying to get that balance and harmony back in your life trying to get yourself back on track things might have been neglected um some of you 
you could have been feeling the pinch lately financially but I think you've been working on that to try and rectify that situation to give you more opportunity and prospects with the ten of pentacles I see that that could be paying off for you um, I definitely think you're getting that abundance and the rewards coming in for you um, as soon as you leave that situation behind I think things are going to definitely turn around for you for the better um, there's definitely abundance um, material wealth coming in for you um, finance, your finances are definitely going to improve substantially um, and, uh, you know this being spirits advice continue to uh, work you know do you continue to work on yourself you know because there's a lot of growth and expansion in what you're doing continue to invest in yourself um, you know keep valuing yourself showing yourself some love um, being in this empress energy you're very creative you're very into what you're doing it's very you feel very passionate about it and there's a potential for it to really turn into something really massive for you I can see here with the ten of pentacles that um, it's definitely something that's that's going to make you happy let's get you out some love island cards got clock need time takes time in cycles time to heal progress um yeah this person maybe it's not the right time for you in this person this person's got a lot of issues a lot of healing to do um they may have had you in a bit of a cycle um and yeah they they need that time to heal this is not i don't feel that you met at the right time i feel that they he may have felt treated like a bit of a rebound by this person um this person definitely needs time to heal from whatever they had going on whatever happened to them in the past um i did see talking when i was shuffling as well i wanted to come out uh, is it, uh love abundance got a hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it yeah in a way they sabotage the relationship um and yeah it seems like there was a kind of bit of a cycle going on with this person a pattern of behavior that you perhaps notice and then we've got unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction i kind of feel some of you could have new love coming in here definitely it could be uh, uh, also you showing that love to yourself you know um, focusing on you um, having a, a love for this new venture here this new business something that's really taking off here that um, I can see someone very much falling in love for you, you you're, you're in this empress mode here at the moment um, and there's abundance again you've got ten of pentacles you've got abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss so yeah there's definitely abundance a lot of abundance coming your way things are really going to change once you leave that situation behind your luck is going to massively change it's going to be a complete turnaround you've got soulmates it could be a soulmate that's coming in for you gemini um really ideal connection for you uh, a much deeper connection someone that you will have a lot of lot in common with someone that you will be able to be happy with share things with someone could be about a partnership here as well maybe going into partnership with someone regarding your business here as well uh, this other person you know you've got um breakup separation so yeah we'll stop the pattern um got silent treatment abandonment you may feel like this person played a lot of mind games mental games with you um and uh yeah there's definitely a breakup here let's get you some romance angels now oops i wanted to flip you've got free yourself and retreat worth waiting for so yeah you're freeing yourself from this situation because it's very unhealthy 
um, with the devil coming at you. It's a very unhealthy situation for you, for you to be in and they're taking out their mood swings brought on by depression which may have been brought on by the fact that they've not got over a previous relationship. They're taking it out on you um, and you're freeing yourself from that situation most definitely. Um, and someone is coming in for you. Uh, it's in divine timing. Um, but it's someone that's definitely worth waiting for. Someone that could be your soulmate. Someone that is ready to give you the unconditional love. Maybe taking time out um, at some point here. I think uh, with the with the four of swords here, I think you may be taking some out, some time out to um, reflect on what's happened, to you know um, build back up your strength and and just to make sense of it all really. Um, you've got engagement, so this new situation here could end up ascending to a higher level of commitment. So there's definitely an engagement on the cards here. So something really far better is coming in for you by the looks of things and, and you have got to pay attention to the red flags to do with this situation up here the signs are cautioning you and yeah the red flags are so very blatantly obvious to you um this you know this person's heart is elsewhere basically um person with all those issues not moving on from their past um you know, projecting all that hatred and that depression and that stress onto you. Um, but don't be surprised if they do try to return to you because you've got reconciliation. Someone from your past has returned to your life. So don't be surprised if eventually when they realise what they've done and um, they will try and come back to you, that's for sure. So I'm going to get you out of some Soul's Journey cards. got worry I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome yeah this person stressed you out a lot you were constantly in a state of worry uh, because they projected those those feelings onto you you worried about the whole situation with this person worried about this person worried about the way they were treating you because of the way they felt but honestly I can't always expect the truth from others but I can't expect it from myself it took quite a lot for you to get the real truth out of them, the real reason why they felt so depressed, why they were so down, why they were taking things out on you. And um, I think you, in the end, did get some honesty from them. But in the end, you did. I think that's in, in a, an emotional outburst, I feel that they maybe expressed how they feel you know it's almost like the self-sabotage bit comes into play here because i kind of feel like they might have kind of said to you tell me if this resonates um they they already kind of made up their mind that you're going to hurt them and be unfaithful to them um even even before you've done it you know because that's what happened with this past person so you know that's that's how they looked at it uh got perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to yeah you per you persevered you were very patient you put up with a lot but your your perseverance i think is also related to the hard work you put in to change your financial situation as well i think you know, to turn things around for you in, in that way as well. You've got a lot of perseverance, you know, but. And then we've got peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. I think, yeah, once you leave this situation, you're definitely going to find that peace, that inner peace. You're going to be at peace with yourself. Um, you, you were supportive, you were understanding showed a lot of empathy you didn't get the support back all you got for your trouble for your loyalty for your love was someone that took it out on you you know um so i think that you're moving on to something much better here so that was your reading gemini
before you leave me please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel take care everyone and i'll see you all soon bye